The water line I buried is actually a three-quarter line. The pump that pulls out of my rainwater tank is similar to a type of pump you would use in a shallow well. And that feeds right into a big pressure tank. And between there and the faucet at the kitchen sink, there's only one elbow. And even though the distance is far, the pump only has to actually lift about eight feet in elevation. All those factors added together is why my flow and pressure are so high. I choose to spend my money on infrastructure more than other things, so that's why my kitchen door is made out of a pallet. But I have good water pressure and a lot of electricity should end up filling up today. After water comes off the roof through the gutter guard, it goes into this filter box. Anything big rolls off of here and falls down onto the ground. I just need to close the first flush diverter. It's probably been a month since I've collected rainwater. After that fills, the water will come down here. This pipe actually goes all the way down to the bottom and has a T and a couple 45 degree elbows to keep it from stirring the whole tank while it fills. That way, what little sediment is in the tank should stay on the bottom. 